Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. JG's back, back, Pickle back. Rick. Tell your friends. John G, Pickle Rick's here as well. Hey, a new Game of Thrones, inside Game of Thrones, a story in visual effects, behind the scenes. Let's check it out. Danny. Things need to be shot faster and they need to be turned around faster. This whole journey of Game of Thrones has been one of figuring out how to the green screen occasion throw them on there the boundaries here all the time all eyes are on us and we're trying to do things that nobody's done before but showing up each year with a new it used to be you know they didn't have any money for season one now hbo just shells them all the money to do whatever they want which is awesome now A story and visual effects. There's a lot about working on a project like Steve, this. Like tell me how it's circus. going. We move 10,000 miles away from home. Okay. And we put up our tent to put on our little show, and then we tear the tent down and move it somewhere else. We have four supervisors on the ground with us starting out. Now we have 24 previous people, three additional Battle supervisors. Battle of the Bastards. A number of concept artists, multiple visual effects editors, and the team that works with me sort of in air traffic control has grown to five and six strong, and there's quite a bit of air traffic to control at this point. The biggest challenge for visual effects is defining what the workload is. From the scripts, we have a really good general idea of what we're doing, but for us, it comes down to the individual shots. Wow. Every shot defines a method. Seasons two and three, we were looking at six and eight hundred shots in a given season. Now we're looking at multiples of that in a single episode. Yeah. It's a remarkable. It's crazy, man. Demand on our team. to say what's my favorite shot because we've done so many but the one that's in my mind right now is the frozen lake syrian does a strafe which we follow and then we how it hits the snow Drogon with danny on his back to land on the island and we're running with god the dang with the dragon and he strafes us and wipes us all off ah! boy night king got the perfect range moment we're contributing what is effectively a character in the show that needs to behave in a way that elicits an emotional response from the viewer it's a really special thing as a visual effects person to be able to play that kind of a role you can tell when the animators get very excited about what they're doing and they start making really gorgeous performance when the night king puts his hand on, on the dead dragon and the camera scraping right along the scales. I mean, all of that. Where did the walkers and the Night King get off? Get the chains to bring uh, the dragon out of the from underwater. What I'm going to miss the most you guys, let me know in the comments daily below. Creative exercise. I'm not kidding. We've done more than 10,000 visual effect shots. I don't expect to ever be able to work with a group of people who are as devoted and talented and determined to do the best thing for this long. This is a once-in-a-lifetime perfect storm moment where a bunch of insanely creative people come together to pull out something that none of us thought could be done, would be done, should be done. What are we going to miss about it? Oh my God, all of that. This is certainly very memorable. <laughs> I don't know what the emotional impact's going to be when we finally deliver the last shot because I've been 100% living the show year-round for five years. I think it's going to be a big life change for everybody. Perfect. Well, hey, as we knew, of course, a huge show like Game of Thrones is going to have a huge special effects, visual effects, uh, a lot of video editing, and a lot of, just a lot of things that go into it. And uh, I just appreciate seeing that kind of stuff because I'm a huge fan. And I like getting all that I can get out of that Game of Thrones, you know. And if you guys want to get all you can get from me, subscribe to that channel. Hey, I post these videos every single day, okay? This is what I do. 
If you guys want to see my reactions, my reviews on TVs, movies, video games, we do it all here, alright? Hit that button, alright? Show me some love. I'll check you guys around. Have a good one.